checking the fuses, uh, fuse boxes and burnt out fuses. So I'm starting with the driver side uh, uh, fuse bank. Uh, that is my testing tool. And that is the fuse box. So as you can see, I've already mapped it on the diagram based on the cover but the cover is written in Japanese so you have to google and find out uh, wh which fuse reference is what so I've got a complete list here this is the list of all the fuses and what they do and their rating that is page 2 and that is page 3 there are about 33 uh, fuses under the driver's uh, side but about four of them are blank so uh, let me go through I'll update you When you pry a fuse, the one that doesn't uh, light, it means it could be blown out or something is wrong, wrong with that line. But sometimes you have to keep the car at the on position for all the fuses. Like you can see, most of them are not lighting. That is lighting. That is not lighting. So first I'll just confirm that the ratings is per the chart and then I'll remove the ones that are not working. Uh, you'll need uh, nose pliers to pry out uh, the fuses that you need to change. So those are the replacement switches, uh, basically 20 amperes, 10 amperes, 15 amperes, and 7.5 amperes. Those should be enough. These are about uh, 15 pieces. Uh, they should be enough to replace any bad switches, any bad fuses uh, in the fuse in the fuse box. This is the wrong way of fixing a fuse. It can cause a shot in the car as you can see. This is a good spare one. So I'm going to replace that one. So next we'll inspect the engine compartment fuse box, uh, this is the one, it's next to the battery and we'll try and see if there's any bad fuse. So as usual, I'm using my tester, this is my tester, let me just open it and I'm connecting this to the earth so I'm testing one by one 
that is okay that is okay that is okay it should it should light both sides eh? that is okay that is okay that is okay that is okay too so all the fuses in the engine compartment seem to be working so there is no problem with those fuses the next compartment is the is the ABS control unit and this is where the fuses for the ABS are this is the relay and there are two fuses inside so we'll just uh, quickly test those two fuses I think something is not right on that one so this this is okay I had tested this one earlier so I, I removed it I think the car must be on for it to work so I removed it and tested it uh, outside the compartment but all the fuses uh, for the car seem to be okay now so after testing all the fuses these are all the bad fuses I removed from the uh, fuse boxes and some of them are like sort of uh, uh, burnt out like you can see this one is like burnt out some of them the wiring technicians had used uh, had used wires to connect them so using uh, electrical wire to connect uh, fuses when they've blown out can be very risky because the amount of current that is going through that uh, connection could be much more than the ampians uh, recommended for the functionality of that particular uh, item so uh, it's not advisable for mechanics electrical uh, wiring mechanics to be bypassing or modifying a switch with uh, bare electrical uh, wires uh, because there is no uh, means of measuring the amount of current going through and what that uh, would portend is a shot in the car and some of these short, short sh shots in the car can result in a fire so uh, always make sure that your fuses are OEM recommended and that they are proper fuses if a fuse blows out it's good to immediately replace with that of its uh, same uh, capacity uh, again it's advisable to have uh, at least three sets of fuses uh, depending with your car uh, so we have 7.5 amps we've got 10 amps 15 amps 20 amps and sometimes even 30 amperes so it's good to have a set of about three of each those uh, fuses in your car in case of any emergency they do not cost much uh, between 20 and 30 shillings for ex japan so yeah so that's it so i was able to figure out the problem with the headlights sorry the fog lights 